Nightmare in the Dark hit US arcades in the year 2000. The game was developed by AM Factory and published by Gavakin/11. It was the only game the studio put out. Nightmare in the Dark was on the Neo Geo cabinet, you know, those big red cabinets that had multiple games on them. It was an action platforming game with some puzzle elements as well. You played as a grave protector, tasked with destroying all the ghouls and skeletons on screen. You would traverse the terrain by jumping and moving left to right. However, you couldn't jump down between platforms, like in most games. Instead, you had to walk off the edge in order to go down. You'd attack enemies with your lantern. The hits would stun an enemy, and if you continued to throw fire, there would eventually come a ball you could grab and throw. This fireball would plow through the stage, going down off each platform, one-shotting most of the enemies it came in contact with, awarding you bonus points for kill streaks. This is where the puzzle element comes into play, cause you wanted the longer streaks for more points, which meant you had to plan creative setups and timing for maximum points. Killing enemies would net you points in the form of jewels or bag of gold, and even upgrades. These power-ups would allow you to move faster, throw farther, or increase your damage. The game is incredibly similar to another arcade classic, Snow Brothers, which I may or may not do on another arcade corner. Nightmare in the Dark may look relatively simple, but it's a surprisingly hard game to beat. The game really shines with its large and creative boss battles. There are 20 levels in Nightmare in the Dark. Every 5 levels, you encounter an amazing fun boss battle. They start out simple and get tremendously difficult by the end. The game never received any arcade sequels and was never officially ported to any home console. It's an incredibly underrated arcade game, probably because it was released at the end life phase of arcades. Have a request for an arcade corner? Tweet me and include hashtag arcade corner. For more videos like this and everything else gaming related, you're already in the right place, you're on Shack News. Com. Next time on Shaq's Arcade Corner.